So I was watching the news today. There's nothing really, uh, I don't know, same old shit, right? They're still trying to pin pin hookers on Trump and Russia, Russia, Russia. All right. So I want to uh, I want to touch on something today, right? I want to I want people I want to it, it occurred to me, right? Somebody, um, I think it's somebody that posted in the board was saying something about that guy uh, Mark Robinson. He insulted uh, he insulted the left. Right, and the guy, I, I know you know. I I welcome your response. I love it. Right, you stimulate you stimulate my thoughts when you say something like that. Right, but 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 what what I want to say is what what am I what am I lefty? What am I on the right? What am I am I a conservative? My fiscal conservative? <laughs> am I a uh, am I a liberal left? Am I a far left? Am I center rightist and uh, center left and conservative this is all bullshit right these are bullshit progressive am i a socialist am i a democratic socialist am i a, a, a f- folks right it's ridiculous the left versus right the the the, the gay versus straight the black versus white the this that the other thing everybody's against taking a side and and you have to be on you know a side right it's the 99 percent against the 1%. That's the side that if you want to ask me what side I'm on, I'm on the side of 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 breaking the back of the oligarchy, right? So that prosperity can rain down on us. <laughs> right? And you know, there's another another thought comes to mind when we talk about prosperity and we talk about um breaking the back of the oligarchy. It's not to say that that I'm See, this is, this happens a lot. People are freedom fighters, and they're fighting for their rights and their equal equal equity and and fairness and all that shit, right? They, it sounds good, and they may even mean it while they're saying it. And then what happens? They start to get ahead, right? They start to make money, right? They start to advance in their career, they, you know. They and then they change, right? The fucking it's like what Cindy Lauper said in the song, money changes everything. You, money changes everything. It's so true, right? You have to. It's a great example. This guy, um, what's his name? Bill, uh, the photographer. The um, Bill Call- Callahan, Call- Callahan, whatever, Bill. He was the guy that used to uh, photograph uh, the New York Times ph- photographer who lived in Carnegie Hall in a small room, and he lived there for like 40 years. And he was the New York Times' number one fashion uh, photographer, fashion street photographer, and runway photographer. And he was, you know, this old guy, and he always said, every, they always asked him, what keeps you going? How do you, how do you stay focused? How do you stay focused on your art, on your on your fashion art? And he would always say... You stay away from the money. You don't take the money because the money is what corrupts, right? So this business of constantly, you know, you, you got every, every, it, look, it's us against them, right? It is us against them, but it's us to 99%, right? You saw, you know, that, that fucking fake, that fake news, you know, bullshit, there's all this is nothing but fake news on it, you know, and it's it's us, the independent media, that have that have been, you know, uh, uh, the 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 chore of carrying real news to the public is just you know piled on, on our backs, right? And I and hey, look, it's this is a good thing, right? it's a good thing, right? The truth is coming out, but when I hear when I hear independent media, you know, say, oh, oh, I'm I'm a leftist, I'm on the left, I'm on the right, you know, and and it just it it defeats the purpose, right? Because when times are good, right, in times of prosperity, where right? you know we break the back of the we we close the hole, we 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 plug up the leak where all the money is leaking out the top, right? We we close the tax loopholes, right? We get rid of the crooked politicians that take the bribes, right? We 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 you know we use that money to give people universal health care, and we. We, you know, we squeeze out the pharmaceutical industrial complex and all the middle insurance people are stealing all our money, right? We close the prison industrial complex, right? When, when we do all these things, the last thing people are going to be fighting over is, is social issues, right? right? It, it's just common sense, right? You can't fix 
those social issues. You'll never get a climate change policy. You'll never get, you know, the simple fact that solar panels on roofs can solve the electricity problem and, you know, and, and uh, the oil problem and harnessing the wind, you know, on a windy day. You know how much electricity you could generate just on wind, right? All these things are known. It's not, it's not, these are not revelations, right? I'm no, I'm no, you know, high, high genius. But what I do know is that it is, it's very defeatist to, for me to attack somebody who says, I'm a conservative. I don't believe in that. Like, well, I, the truth is, I really don't care what you believe in. What we do agree on almost always is everybody in this country wants peace. Everybody wants opportunity. Everybody wants respect of the law, right? Nobody wants to be have their children shipped off to war and killed, right? Nobody wants to be poisoned, you know, with foods and 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 narcotics uh, flooding into the uh, into the uh, the mine stream through pharmaceutical companies, right? Nobody nobody wants any of this shit, right? We all agree on that, right? We all agree on that. I mean, we we can we can disagree to some degree on social issues and. You know, what toilet someone should be able to use or how long somebody's hair should be. in the business. <laughs> We could argue about those things, but those are fun things. Those are trivial. Really, they are trivial. I know people are so, oh, I'm a feminist. <laughs> you know, I got to wear my pink pussy hat. I got to, you know, Trump, I hate Trump. He's a, he, he wants to grab my pussy. You know, I, I, I get it, right? But it, you know what? If you're going to, if you're going to push because of your strong social opinion, if you're going to push someone, for example, like me away, right, who's actually like, I, I don't care about that issue. And it's it's never something you're going to see me down, you know, down on the avenue with a, with a picket sign or really arguing for even like right here, right now. You know, there's no way. Right. Because it's something that is is it I'm sorry to say is back seat to the real issue which is the economic crises in this country the 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 issues of corruption in politics where elections are stolen where you know foundations like the Clinton Foundation is set up as laundering schemes to funnel money into politics and exchange for our secrets for you know market position right the Iwan brothers. So that's all I want to say today. It's more mostly a uh, mostly a PM opinion. I just um, I I, I, I don't want to see V ver, you know right versus left. It's not. It's it's we the people. We the ninety nine percent want our democracy back, right? And as you know, Mark Robinson said, it it's by hell or high water. You know, we're not we're not we're not going to retreat. Right? We're coming for you. You know, we're coming for you by, you know, there's no stopping, there's no stopping the wave. I mean, anybody who thinks like, oh, this, this message is not really going to resonate and, 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 you know, you're just dreaming about a world that can never be. I, I, I fundamentally disagree. I think the divide between when you watch mainstream media for even a minute, you realize that the narrative that they're trying to sell, this political correctness over the truth, right? What is politically correct, but not necessarily true or not even close to being true. Repeat the lie over and over. And if you keep repeating it and make it a big lie, people start to believe it, right? I fundamentally believe that the majority of the people are rising up. And, you know, in 2016, when we saw that independent surge uh, under the umbrella of a uh, Bernie Sanders for president, we saw how people are there and wake up, right? So I believe in that, and I believe that as we lead into 2018, we're going to start to see that that surge return leading into 2020, where if we can get the, the proper leader, proper independent candidate, that is not left or is not right or is not Democrat or is not Republican, but is truly of the people, by the people, and for the people. I think that we have a shot at 
at winning back our democracy, at ending the insurgency wars, universal health care for all, increase the minimum wage, close the tax brackets, the, the tax breaks for, for large corporations that are stealing our money. Right? My name is Marcus Conti, investigative reporter. I guess I'm a columnist too now. Right? <laughs> Peace out.